In today's video, I'll be showing you a few things that you can do within Windows 10 which will help improve the performance of Back 4 Blood, which can help stop lagging, stuttering and also help increase that frame rate. But before we get started, if you found this video helpful and you want to see more videos on how you can improve the performance of your games, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure you have the latest updates installed for Windows 10. To check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, you then need to click on settings, you then need to select update and security, and you now need to click on the check for updates button, and if any new updates are available, then Windows 10 will begin to download and install them. Once you've installed them, then you can now move on to the next part, and that's to ensure you have the latest graphics drivers installed for your graphics card. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card, or an AMD graphics card, or if you have an Intel, go to the website for your graphics card and then download the latest driver. Once you have installed it, and that really will help improve the frame rate in the game and can also help reduce that stuttering and lagging issues with the graphics. And also if you are having a few texture issues within Back 4 Blood, then that can resolve those issues as well. The next step is just make sure no one else is signed into your computer. So if you right click on the taskbar and then click onto Task Manager and now go across to Users. As you can see, I currently have another user profile signed into my computer and they are using some CPU usage and they are using a lot of memory as you can see. They are actually using a gig of memory. And I want all that power for my game. So that user is really hogging up some of the system resources which I need to have available when I am running Bat for Blood. And also you can see there the GPU is going up and down a bit as well. That's probably the recording program. However, that user profile could be affecting it as well. And like you can see there, it is using network as well, which will obviously make the game lag. I am currently updating a game on that user profile and that's why it is using a lot of system resources. I did that on purpose just for this video to show you how much it can affect your computer if you have another user profile signed in. So just sign out the user, but make sure they don't have any work open before you sign them out, otherwise they will lose their work if they don't save it. To sign out the user, you just need to select the user and then click the sign out button. So once you have ensured no one else is signed into your computer, then the next thing we want to do is right click on the start menu icon and click on settings. You now need to select gaming, and you then need to click on game mode, and you need to ensure the game mode is turned on. If yours is turned off, then toggle this option here to on. Once you've done that, we now need to close this down and open up the start menu again, and you now need to type in appearance. You then need to select adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, and you now need to select adjust for best performance, and it will deselect all these options. You now need to press apply and OK. Once you have changed the appearance of Windows, we now need to run a disk cleanup. So to do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in disk. You need to select disk cleanup and you then need to select your C drive and press OK. And you now need to select everything in this list. The more you do select, the better. If there's things in here you do not want to clean, then obviously don't select them. Once you're happy, go ahead and press OK. I'm just going to go ahead and select DirectX shader cache. So once you've done disk cleanup, the next thing you need to do is run a defrag. So to do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and type in defrag. You then need to select defragment and optimize drives. And you now need to go through all the drives on your computer and just optimize them. Once you have optimized the drives, then that will help also improve how Back for Blood runs. If you are using an SSD, then it's not recommended that you do an optimize on a solid state drive. So I will leave that at your own choice if you decide to do that. The next thing we need to do if your graphics card supports it is ensure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is enabled. To check this, all you need to do is right click on your desktop and you now need to select display settings. You now need to scroll down and then click on the graphics settings. And you now need to toggle this option here to on. As you can see, currently my GPU scheduling is turned off. 
So toggle this to on and once you've done that, that will also help improve how Back for Blood runs. But like I said, if you don't have this option available to you, then that means your graphics card doesn't support it, unfortunately. You now need to go down here under graphics performance preference and you now need to browse for the Back for Blood game by clicking onto browse and clicking onto desktop apps. If you didn't install the game through Steam and you downloaded it through the Microsoft Store or the Xbox app, then you can click on the Microsoft Store app and then you can find Bat for Blood in the list here. Okay, I have just changed user profile to show you this bit. So like I said, you can choose Bat for Blood under the Microsoft Store app section and then click on select an app. And as you can see, Bat for Blood's there. Once you have found Bat for Blood, you now need to click on the add button and you then need to select options and you now need to select high performance and press save. So the next thing we want to do is right click on the start menu icon and you now need to click on power options. You now need to click on additional power settings. You now need to select the high performance option. As you can see, I'm currently using an ultimate performance option. I will pop a link in the description below to how you can enable the ultimate performance option as well, if that's something you want to do. So that does now pretty much bring me to the end of this video. The only other thing you can do to help improve the performance of how well Back for Blood runs is to limit the amount of apps and programs you have open when you are running the game. If you have videos playing or music playing and stuff like that, that's going to impact your system resources, which will make Bat for Blood run a lot slower. So try and close down everything when you are playing the game. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like this video and you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. And that's it for now.